Hello, hello. Excuse my unreasonably sexy deep voice today, I'm a bit sick. Um, I'm gonna be testing the N64 performance, I'm gonna be talking about my thought process with this for a bit. So right now you see this area is 25 FPS, we've got a bunch of different displays. Uh, 25 looks like shit, but um, that's just what you guys see. Um, I know that we're gonna be adding multi-threading, so I'm just looking at the CMD display. If that one speed all 33,000, that means we'll get full FPS. Which means um, the performance is going to increase, so that barrier was full FPS. This one here, easily full FPS too. Right, it says 25, but don't worry about it. I know it will be more. Um, so that's the main thing I look out for. I kind of know like what's causing the lag, because I experimented so much with N64. Let me just make sure I don't die. The way I set up the inside area is that I wrote a new room system that calls all the objects and all the geometry in the other rooms. So as you can see, this area here, it's probably gonna be around 45 FPS, which kinda looks really bad on N64 because of the way that frames are spaced out. So we're probably gonna limit this game to 30 FPS on N64 by default, but there's option in the pause menu to turn it off. Uh, you can see that sometimes it runs over 30 FPS, that means we have a lot of leeway left. I just want to check the performance in the room after here, because I remember an early version, this one was a bit messed up. I didn't set up the rooms properly. Uh, but as you can see, this one's also going to be a 45 FPS area, so no worry at all. Yeah, so the guys just reappeared because I entered the other room. That's how the room system's set up. They can move through walls because they're ghosts, so I'm fine with it. But they should probably reset to their home if Mario leaves the room. Might add that to the code. This area says 15 FPS, not good. But the CMD is at 40, so it's gonna be 25. Anything above 20 FPS is honestly fine in my book. Of course I'm shooting for 30 every time. But 25, that's 5 FPS more than Ocarina of Time. I mean, come on. This one also says 25, it's gonna be 33 FPS. I can tell from CMD. It's just that adding multi-threading is a bit hard. Um, a fellow Romeka crash alright made a new Lib Ultra version, implemented in Mario 64. Once we have that in, then we can probably add proper multi-threading. But I just gotta wait for him to do it, or do it myself eventually. But he already knows what to do, so I'm gonna leave it to him if I can. <clears throat> Looks pretty good so far. Uh, I wanna check this room in here, which you can enter by just moving this guy into the wall. Like that. Like that, and now he's big enough that you can just walk in here. Yeah, so this area too. This area has me more worried about CPU lag because of these guys. Right, you can see CPU went up to 50. CMD is also pretty high. Uh, I'm not sure how much above 20 this one's gonna go. Um, hmm. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate, but I hope this is playable anyway. Uh, you gotta also keep in mind with multi threading that we have in here. Even if the game drops FPS, the controls are still at 30 FPS. Because that's how multi-threading does it. So, if you see lag here, that's not gonna mess with your gameplay. It's just gonna look visually j a bit jittery. Um, a lot of people think that 20 FPS is gonna look really not fluid. But that's because when you drop frames, the frames start to be spaced out unevenly. So, that makes stuff look jittery. But if you have actually 20 FPS or like 60 FPS, 30 FPS, those all have evenly spaced out frames, which is why all N64 games came at those frame rates. So if it actually likes down to 20 FPS, it's gonna look fluid again. If it's at 25 FPS or 40 FPS, it's gonna look less fluid. See, this one's gonna be a 50 FPS area. Uh, don't actually ignore the CPU display. That one's not accurate. Only really CMD is accurate and clock right now. Um, but clock is gonna be equal to CMD with multi-threading, so not a worry. Let's just moon jump over here. This area here, by the way, is CPU generated, this texture. That's why CPU is relatively high here. You can see it jump around, that's because sometimes it switches to the graphic thread mid-code and then it just all goes longer. This one's also gonna be a 40 FPS area. Right, you just divide a million by CMD and then you get the FPS. That's how I kinda know how it's gonna be with multi-threading, ideally. Um, maybe it will be slightly lower, like maybe this would be 38 instead of 40. 
There's another area down here, but I already know it's gonna be full FPS. It's probably gonna be 60. Uh, okay. Come on. So I'm gonna check what's the worst FPS is that we can get in the overworld. <clears throat> Which honestly, it wouldn't even be that bad if this like down to 15, because it's not very plat for me over here. Uh, 23. 23. Honestly, that's way better than expected. I might also still disable Z buffer on the water here, which... Dude, look at the fucking water. This is N64. It's crazy to me. It's because I implemented a new strategy of rendering textures on the CPU. But you can do it in Mario 64 because it barely uses any CPU. So excuse my gameplay here. I'm playing on the OBS display, which is a lot of delay, so I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Also not very used to N64 controller, I usually play with a GameCube controller. Okay, this one's 20. That one at most gonna be 23. So this area sucks a little bit, especially because it's platformy. I might wanna think about optimizing this. Uh, usually when you lag, it's because you're rendering too many pixels. That's usually not because of the triangles. Mm. Oh, this one's easy 50 again. <laughs> Man, sometimes the lag feels a bit random. But it just shows that we haven't run yet. That thing disappearing is a bit boring to me. I think maybe I need more GFX buffer. Shouldn't be hard to implement though. We have a lot of RAM left, so more GFX buffer is no problem. Alright. Ooh, what happened to the sky here? Might be a rounding error. That's unfortunate. I know that in the intercut scene we have a problem with clip planes, but I can just extend them. And where's the star? There it is. Hey. Alright, thanks for watching this. Bye bye.